Ride Downs coming to you from Mesquite, Nevada. We do this ride twice annually with a big group of friends. Always look forward to coming back. Six months in between is always too long. Today I wanted to draw some attention to uh, this 2019 Polaris Turbo 4S that we built up and pay some special thank yous to industry partners that were involved in the build. First company I reached out to to inquire on the use of their products was Extreme Performance in San Bernardino, California. Always been impressed with the craftsmanship of their products and I really believe the single best upgrade that you can do to your UTV regardless of brand is to put a real roll cage on it. Um, I'm most impressed with the work from Extreme Performance. There's lots of brands, lots of different products to choose from out there. But what drew me to theirs more than anything was the fact that it was all TIG welded construction and chromoly tubing. So this car has a ton of Extreme Performance products on it. The front and rear bumpers, the roll cage, the doors, the integral roof rack, the rear radius arms are all from Extreme Performance and offer a significant upgrade in protection for anything that you choose to do with your UTV. Just beautiful construction, all TIG welded, then powder coated, and Alan, he insisted that I send the car to him to allow his team to do the upfitting in their shop in San Bernardino. I'm certainly glad I did, the results are fantastic. Uh, there are many other industry partners that helped out with this build as well. Uh, since we're at the front of the car, uh, Heretic Lighting, the light, the amber light in the bumper, as well as this light above the cage is from Heretic Lighting. They're a U.S. company uh, based in Utah. Uh, the tires on this, this is the new BF Goodrich KM3 Mud Terrain. It's a UTV specific tire. And this is the third set of those that I've run on project vehicles. I'm proud to say I've never had a flat, never torn a sidewall. They are just awesome and they take a beating all day, every day. Uh, Walker Evans wheels. Same goes for Walker Evans. These are beadlock wheels. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with a beadlock, that allows you to drop the pressure down according to the terrain and, and whatever material you're running in. And it keeps the sidewall from being, uh, the bead from blowing off the tire, or off the wheel rather. So <clears throat> just a whole host of great products on this car. Sector 7 mirrors, this is a new product in the marketplace. An Idaho product, no less. It's got front facing and side facing series of LEDs on the front side of the mirror, and then on the back side, of course, a traditional convex mirror. They're just a great product and really, really do a great job in lighting up the night. A shout out to Climb, K-L-I-M, out of Rigby, Idaho, another Idaho company. So we've got Max, we've got Sector 7 and Climb. Um, this is their fresh air helmet system. The filtration and the pump itself comes from Rugged Radios. Plugs right into the top of that Climb helmet. And notice this neck gaiter really helps keep the dust out, especially, you know, we're in a big group here in Mesquite, about 17 UTVs, and there is dust constantly. This helmet, another cool feature, is within the helmet there's a sunshade that flips down to, so you don't have to try to squeeze on sunglasses inside the helmet. Works really, really well. Crow harnesses are found in all four seat locations in here. A significant upgrade from the stock automotive style shoulder belt that is perhaps fine for going to the corner market but does not offer nearly enough protection out here flying along at high speeds through rough terrain. Uh, axial alloys. Um, the rear view mirror in the center as well as the fire extinguisher mount are from axial alloys. They're based in Arizona, build top quality products. Since we're taking a look at the dash there, there's the in-car and car-to-car -car communication from Rugged. Uh, the helmets are equipped with mics so you can speak at a normal level and talk to your passengers within the car. And then there's a push to talk button on the steering wheel as well as the oh shoot bar here on the right that allows you to press the button and talk from car to car. Uh, since we got this door open, I'd like to point out again more, more product from Extreme Performance. The stock doors on these cars are, are plastic and they offer very little protection except from sun. Um, this is all chromoly, replaceable aluminum skin should you damage it. They've got kind of a slide bolt here that's spring-loaded that latches into the front part of the cage. Just a lot more integral protection 
than anything that comes from the factory. Uh, notice we've got dual pumper setups, uh, a separate fan and filtration for the rear passengers as well as the front. And those hoses simply plug right onto the top of the helmet. And that's another great product from Rugged Radios. In the back, we've got the rear radius arms, also from Extreme Performance. Significant upgrade over the stock mild steel units from Polaris. And again, uh, so far so great. Those things have been awesome. Uh, the Max Y strap here for our spare tire. And this keeps that tire significantly uh, secure. We've had a couple of funny incidences with this group where guys have run other brands of spare tire straps and we've come to a stop lunch break and discovered tires missing. They chose the wrong brand. So this tire sits right on top and is held in place by a simple Y strap. But look what we've got underneath. More great product from Extreme. I just love the configuration of this box. We keep spares in there, water, spare belt, recovery gear, tool bag, some chemicals, spare oil and antifreeze, that sort of thing. And then on the front side, I believe the capacity of this guy is three gallons. Put whatever you wish into it. I choose to carry three gallons of spare fuel. And that's got welded bungs in the front of it and it's held in place to the front side of the toolbox. So rather than having your fuel way up in the air or in a dangerous you know, position that would risk injury, it's nicely tucked away within the cargo area of the UTV. Just really, really works well. The Axial Alloys fire extinguisher mount. You know, when you need to, when you need to get to a fire extinguisher, you need to get to it quickly. This is a fantastic setup here that if I were standing on the other side of the car, I could get to it easier. You could simply pull the pin and then you can put the wet stuff on the red stuff. Uh, this thing is totally silent. It's got integral O-rings within the mount. I never hear a peep out of this fire extinguisher bracket. Another great quality product from Axial Alloys in Arizona. So I chose to mount it there just for quick access. It works very, very well. So I guess that's about a wrap. We're getting ready to uh, finish up lunch here and move on, as you can see. Got a whole crowd of friends here in Mesquite. Just loving the day in a UTV.